Hi everyone, welcome back to PATV's live celebration of World Art Day. I'm Gabby Briseño and I'm here with Dr. Pamela Levy and Jessica Fischenfeld. Dr. Levy is uh, the director of vocal music at Great Neck South and Jessica is a, a former student there. Thank you both so much for being with me today. Sure thing. <laughs> so Dr. Levy, you're the director of vocal music and your school is the only non-magnet school, so I've heard, that has a uh, opera performance every uh, year. Um, could you tell us a little bit about your responsibilities there? Uh, yes. Uh, first of all, thank you for having us today. I think it's so important um, that people be aware of um, how precious and wonderful the arts are. And uh, we have such a wonderful opportunity at Great Neck South that many schools do not have um, in that we get to perform uh, an opera every single year. We're a non-magnet school and the operas we perform are uh, in foreign language and they include super titles. Uh, typically we also invite the children from the elementary schools to participate with us to introduce them to opera as well and there are also many other students that are involved um, whether they're doing artwork or crew or lighting or running the super titles so we have a lot of people um, involved in the technical aspect of that. We also have a full orchestra. Our orchestra is really quite amazing um, that plays the score for it um, that collaborates with us for this uh, you know very exciting project awesome so could you tell us about the opera that you guys perform every year uh, yes well most recently last week in fact we performed Carmen mm -hmm. and it was in French mm -hmm. and uh, it included uh, two children's choruses one from Lakeville and one from Saddle Rock which are, are our feeder elementary schools mm -hmm. uh, again our orchestra played the score uh, we had a wonderful director Mr. Robert Stevenello uh, who's a professional opera director and it included scenery and costumes and um, that was uh, basically what our latest project was. Carmen, I believe, is a wonderful way to introduce students to opera because the tunes are so familiar. Mm -hmm. So you're introducing them to things that are both familiar and unfamiliar as well. And uh, so uh, as a result, when we finished the opera, many of the students came to me and said, well, what are we doing next year? So <laughs> it's really just a great way. <laughs> that was always me. Oh. <laughs> What's next? What's next? I have to start learning it. <laughs> So, uh, Jessica, how did you become so interested in music in general? Well, I, you know, I started doing musical theater in, in middle school, and I went to camp for, at a uh, Dan out on Long Island. And once I got to high school and I saw that they performed operas every year, you know, I, I tried it out, and I realized that my voice developed more in an operatic way. It, it, I was more inclined to singing operatically. And just from the experience of performing in an opera every year really, you know, got me really interested in the field and made me decide that I want to pursue it after high school. That's so unique. Yeah. Um, so what operas were you involved in while you were at Great Neck South? So I feel like we're doing a, this is the next cycle because my <laughs> right. freshman year I was in Carmen oh, and, okay. uh, you know, it, as a freshman, you kind of go in an entry entry level role. <laughs> Manuelita. Uh, yes, right. Manuelita, right. The, the woman who gets into a fight with Carmen off stage and comes out with a big bloody X on her head. And so, you know, I got to fall uh, on stage and, you know, faint. Um, my second year as a sophomore, I got to sing the Queen of the Night in the Magic Flute, which was really special mm -hmm. for me. Um, then junior year, I got to sing the Countess in The Marriage of Figaro. And then senior year, I got to sing uh, the lead role in The Merry Widow. So it was a really nice run for me. <laughs> You're really involved. <laughs> yeah. So since you graduated, uh, what have you have you pursued your interest in music or? Oh, absolutely. Um, well, after high school, I went to NYU Steinhardt for vocal performance, and then after that, I took my I did my master's at Manhattan School of Music for opera performance. And uh, after NYU, I kind of decided I wanted to go into a conservatory. Mm -hmm. Whereas for undergrad, I, I, you know, I wanted to try it out. I wanted to try out the opera field, but I also wanted, you know, kind of a well-rounded education. So NYU was actually the only school I applied to. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just kind of, I was like, I'm going to go here. <laughs> so I did it. And once I got out of there, I realized I really, this was my passion. This is what I wanted to do. So I followed a great teacher, Edith Bears, to Manhattan School of Music who I continue to study with. Mm -hmm. And um, since graduating Manhattan School of Music last spring, um, I started working 
for an opera company in Florida called the Palm Beach Opera, where I sang as a young artist for the whole season. So I covered large roles, on, like understudying, and sang smaller roles throughout the season. And um, that way you kind of gain experience. It's a job. You know, we get a salary, but also we get extra coaching and training and everything as a young artist. So you really love this whole thing. Mm -hmm. So um, do you have any idea, Dr. Levy, yes. what's next for the program at Great Neck South? Well, um, since we just finished our performance on Saturday night, mm -hmm. I would say that what we typically do is we take a deep breath, <laughs> and then we, uh, with the conductor, myself and the director, we um, sit, sit around and we discuss ideas for it the next year. So with, at present, um, we don't have anything selected for next year, but um, we do like to always improve upon what we've done the previous year in terms of um, the production. Um, we now have such wonderful Wonderful um, production values, I believe, you know, and having such a wonderful director and beautiful uh, sets and lighting and really the super titles and the um, um, language, the world language that we've added. You know, Carmen, we just did entirely in French and so on, and we've done Skiki and Soir in Italian and Figaro in Italian and so on and so forth. Um, having that element um, and refining it as best we can um, is always something we strive for. We always try to improve, as I said, upon what we're doing, and um, that is basically what we will be discussing, you know, when we at our next meeting. That's great. Yeah. Uh, Jessica, do you have any idea like what's in store for you? Yeah, um, well, tonight I'm singing at an event in New York yeah. City for this wonderful organization called the Opera Diva Dress Collection, which is partnering with Sing for Hope that one of my friends uh, started. And um, that's just you know a small thing. I have little things like that around New York City where I'm singing in kind of little events um, until next season, which is when I go back to Palm Beach Opera to once again be a young artist there. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, well thank you both so much for joining me today. Uh, coming up next we have some clips of Jessica's recent performances, so check that out.
Speed on. 
Yeah.